inviting all of us here. Um, so we'll start with uh, with our uh, amazing panel, actually. And I think um, when you when you see the panelists that we have today, um, all the people that are here when it comes to the technology space are ones that have had not only immense success, but all the all the things that they have built, all the companies that they've built, are ones that have been built for scale and have been built for really. Uh, to, to ensure that they can succeed all throughout Pakistan. So first, uh, I will invite to the stage uh, the CEO of Food Panda, Noman. Please give a round, welcome round of applause. Next, can we please have the CEO of Sarmayakar, founder and CEO of Sarmayakar, Rabil? I should make a running entrance. There we go. Co-founder and Chief Strategy Officer of IKEA, Kishak. And last but not least, we have the President of Pasha, as well as Nestayo, Jihan. Thank you very much. How are you feeling today? Fine. Good? Only one response. Come on, guys. We need some energy in here. Jan here. Okay, perfect. So, um, in fact, what we wanted to really talk about, I don't think we could have found a better set of, uh, of panel members to be able to talk about uh, the space of disruption in technology in Pakistan. So, I'll, I'll start uh, from the way I've written it, so it makes my life easier. I'll start with the, with the introduction for, for Naman, who, who founded FC Pakistan and then raised money and founded Eat Oi, um, and it, which got acquired, and now he's the CEO of Food Panda. How many of you use Food Panda? Because you, should, you don't cook. That's the line, right? Don't cook. <laughs> Um, next, we have uh, Shah to his right, who is the co-founder of Baikia. Uh, Baikia is one of the one of the uh, I think the, the poster child actually for the startup scene in Pakistan in, in, in recent history, and they're using technology to really solve the the issues of transportation and logistics. Uh, they've recently raised a large round from uh, from international investors uh, to really solve a lot of the transportation uh, space uh, issues that we have uh, in, in the country. Uh, to his right, we have Rabil, who is uh, one of the first uh, Pakistani venture capitalists. Um, he, after graduating from MIT and uh, doing investment banking for several years, uh, and then and then working with GIC as the Singapore-based uh, sovereign wealth fund, uh, he's moved back to Pakistan and and founded Sarmayakar, which uh, which has had very uh, very successful investments in in various space uh, various uh, areas of technology, uh, with the likes of Patari Project and Publish. Next. Finally, we have uh, Jahan to his right, who is um, who is actually the the president of Pasha, the the Pakistan uh, Software House Association. Uh, she's also a very very active member in uh, in, in Nestio, which is which got started in 2015. Was a uh, funded by by Google, Samsung, and Samsung um, as one of the one of the first uh, or one of the leading incubators in the country. And the reason I think it's such an astute uh, uh, forum is because when you look, we have two members from the the capital, providing capital space, and you have two members that are from sort of the innovation and private uh, business uh, space. Uh, as a brief introduction about myself, my name is Essen Saya, I'm the Managing Director of Daraz. Uh, previously, I was an investment banker in Canada uh, and had my own startup in the logistics space as well, um, before moving to Pakistan uh, a little over a year ago. Um, for those of you that don't know Daraz, Daraz is an Alibaba company in Pakistan. It's the, one of the largest uh, e-commerce companies in Pakistan and the largest marketplace, um, which has over 20,000 sellers uh, across the country. And in fact, when we spoke about sort of creating uh, small entrepreneurs, that's one of our, our sort of big mandates. So first, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pass the floor to Jahan to sort of uh, get us started to at least understand how we look at startups and what are you know really startups. How do you define them um, in sort of a few words? So in a few words, it's very difficult. But a startup basically is a mindset. I think uh, also a startup is not a small business. So I think that's the mistake that a lot of people make. A, a startup is a small business. A startup is something that is 
a set of founders who decide to solve either a business or social problem and they are not restricted by geography. They are also the kind of um, venture that needs to scale very fast. You can't take 10 years to grow as a business. You need to scale fast. You need to be independent of geography. So a restaurant cannot be a startup. You know, so when they franchise and grow, that's a small business which is growing into a large business. So I, that's the way I would define a startup. I'm sure everybody has their own definition of it. So great. And then, and and Rabil, how would you sort of see, uh, you know, the state space of startups or sort of? I also have a hard time saying startups because also I think. Uh, young companies is also another word. Right? How how has these states sort of evolved over the last few years? I think there's been a tremendous evolution, um, uh, which was begun really by Jahan and like Nest IO and the first wave of incubators and accelerators that got set up. Uh, but really, some of the businesses that were being created didn't get traction until we had 3G, 4G enabled in the country, which was 2014, 2015. Now, since then, we've had about 1 million broadband enabled smartphone users added to the network every month. We're about 60 million, we can debate whether that's like 55 or 70. And within that, of course, there's an ad a certain addressable market. What that has done is it has given some of those early ventures that were created by young entrepreneurs um, the kind of ability to test and validate whether their product or solution works and to try to find some sort of a business model market fit to the solution that they're providing. Um, and if those marry well together with capital availability, which we've seen actually increase many folds in the last couple of years, um, that is what creates the environment to achieve what we describe in the venture space as hyper growth uh, scenarios. And with that hyper growth, you can capture market share quickly and you how can you establish yourself. The audience, could you define how you look at hyper growth? Is it 2% uh, growth year over year? No, so that would certainly not uh, classify as hyper growth. Um, the well, first thing to kind of keep in mind about hyper growth is you don't look at it even on a year on year basis. Uh, ideally, you want to have daily, day on day growth. If not, you have week on week growth. If not, month on month growth. Um, but there's also this element of uh, being able to get to a product market fit as we use conventionally, but in Pakistan maybe it's a little bit more on the business model market fit. So anything which is growing, let's say, double digits month on month would be kind of like a base level of growth that you're looking for. And, and then, guys, and do you generally sort of look at that in terms of revenue, in terms of users? How do you sort of how do you sort of assess that? I think there could be a bunch of different KPIs or metrics that are looked at because not every startup that we invest in, for example, necessarily is already generating revenues of that scale. But there are other things, for example, monthly active users or the number of clients you have in in a B two B business. What's your sales pipeline and like you know how long it's taking to convert one of those customers into a paying client. All of these are signs of what we call traction. And anything which can signify hyper growth or fast growth even in traction is counted as effectively a startup that has the potential to grow quickly. Great. Um, and then so um, Ishak, I think one of the one of the when we look at sort of the space of, of startups where we talked uh, we discuss a little bit about sort of the importance of capital providers, equally important, and it's always sort of a chicken and egg issue, is you, you need innovation and you need capital. And it's always, you can never have one without the other, and I, and th I think from my perspective, at least I'm starting to see sort of that with a little bit of capital, we've really inspired a lot of innovation, which hopefully should sort of fuel more innovation. So from your guys' perspective at Ikea, where I think you guys saw a really evident problem, an evident issue, how did you sort of think through innovation and, and how do you sort of A, value innovation and B, uh, measure that, uh, that innovation? Basically, I think there is a lot of misconception about uh, startups in Pakistan and generally in the younger people's mind. People think that there's an idea which will just pop up in the shower 
and there will be like boom next day you will make millions of dollars a startup or innovation we feel is a is a process of brainstorming of learning meeting people and as a result you get innovative processes right uh, what people do is generally go on the internet okay you should get inspiration from abroad there have been a lot of in similar geographies like in india bangladesh there have been a lot of startups which has worked that's what we did we got inspired by a company called gojek but then we innovated and uh, localized it like for example uh, we made our app in urdu Uh, we did all our marketing in a very quirky localized way we went to dhaba to hire where the where the market is we trying to solve the problem not for a like a burger friends but actually for the local real people which was which is 95% of the people right uh, so i think uh, that's where uh, we miss a lot of innovation we don't localize our product we keep it in english we keep it in cool colors and uh, we also get inspired by like zuckerberg or Af- we basically i feel like we're afridi com i hope he's not sitting here can I, can but hum jo hame chhakke maarne hai but can i touch with two side yeah no because it's as answer just wait a moment also it was very interesting that you mentioned about localization i think even when when i look at sort of our business at draz one of the really important elements that really took us time to discover but then with sort of having uh, you know uh, the father of alibaba it helped us sort of solidify the importance of localization yeah. because you cannot really we don't live in an age today where your entire masses and really i would say that we in here are probably not the entire we're not the market necessarily you know when we look at the the market of pakistan that we really need to solve uh, the problems for it's a much wider audience so how do you guys think sort of localize one one you said your language obviously making the language but even for example the hubs you guys have started to recruit a lot of the riders how how did that sort of help in your scalability across pakistan because i know you guys sort of spread like wildfire with the with the sort of launching of those hubs so uh, we approach not the classical ways of uh, advertisement like uh, tv series go on tv we or uh, la- launch events and sponsoring a big event where all the rich people come but generally we went to the local places where local people hang out like uh, the dabas the panwalas in the lanes or lyaris and where actually the supply will come from we did not target the mark demand we actually targeted the supply and there the supply brought the demand with itself so it was more of a word of mouth more of a referral programs where people can earn money referring a friend rather than going on facebook and uh, giving money into the foreign companies okay. and so numan i think you know uh, you, so uh, we have a, um, a slogan for our advertisement called bhai kiya to bhai kiya so jo uh, for example a lot of females also use you'd be surprised use uh, bikes as a mode of transportation who can't afford kari menu but to jis tarah khawatin apne bhaiyo ko kehti hai tumne kaha bhai bhai kiya to bhai kiya तो नुमान इसमें आई थिंक एक सवाल ये भी है कि यू नो ऑबियसली सिमिलरली आप लोग भी पूरे पाकिस्तान में जब राइडर्स ढूंढते हैं एंड एंड यू शुड ऑफ लुक टू इवॉल्व योर बिजनेस व्हिच इज आई वुड आर्ग्यू द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट यू नो फूड डिलीवरी बिजनेस इन ऑल ऑफ पाकिस्तान हाउ डू यू शुड ऑफ लुक टू स्केल अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान एंड वट शुड ऑफ एलिमेंट्स डू यू थिंक आर आर वैल्यूएबल इन हाउ यू इनोवेट फॉर द कंज्यूमर अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्राइस Apart from price, yeah, yeah tough one. Hello. So, <clears throat> I think uh, I think innovation uh, in our organization drives bottom up. So, I'm looking at the case. So, we're very actively uh, uh, speaking with our consumers and taking their feedback. So, you'll see a lot of times I'm even active on social media, responding to people, mostly when the food is late. Apologies. <laughs> तो हम लोग बॉटम अप काफी काम करते हैं राइडर से बहुत ज्यादा फीडबैक लेते हैं कस्टमर से बहुत ज्यादा फीडबैक लेते हैं और वहां से हमें बिल्कुल क्लियर इंडिकेशन आती है इन सेंस यू रन ए ई कॉमर्स कंपनी अनलाइक अदर डेवलप्ड बिजनेसेस आपके पास बहुत ज्यादा डेटा पॉइंट्स आते हैं कस्टमर्स टेल यू वॉट दे वॉन्ट कस्टमर्स इन गुजरा वाला आर टेलिंग एस वी वॉन्ट दिस कस्टमर्स इन सियालकोट आर टेलिंग एस दिस इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट एंड वी जस्ट डू दैट एंड दैट्स द सिंपल फ्रॉम यू आर वी यूज टू हेल्प स्केल आर बिजनेस and so so are you is it fair to say that all of your innovative 
sort of thought, pro either it's like processes or, or solutions, come out of having a direct relationship and, and communication with the customer? Yeah, they can a cup book or something, you know, you can think that we are an innovative company and we are doing new things. And that is a very disconnect from the reality of the world. We are doing innovation drive, so we are doing the e commerce companies. If you are in a traditional space, you can either be a quality leader, so you can make products which nobody can match in quality, or you can make sell products at a price which you can't match. In e commerce, you have to be best in both, right? For that, you have to continuously innovation drive innovation. किस महंगी सी महंगी चीज सस्ते से सस्ते कीमत में आपने डिफाइन करनी और वहाँ से बहुत इनोवेशन आती है हमारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के लिए 90 परसेंट इनोवेशन जो है ना वो हम लोग सिर्फ डेटा से ड्राइव करते हैं कस्टमर्स क्या बोल रहे हैं राइडर्स क्या बोल रहे हैं हम लोग के बहुत सेशंस होते हैं जहाँ हम लोग राइडर्स को बुलाते हैं उनसे फीडबैक लेते हैं रेस्टोरेंट्स को बुलाते हैं उनसे फीडबैक लेते हैं और वहाँ से पूरे बिजनेस को हम लोग बॉटम अप चेंज करते हैं क्या तो बेसिकली जिस तरह बहुत अच्छी बात की इन्होंने हम लोग भी बिल्कुल यही करते हैं लोग जनरली भी करते हैं कि हम इसी वाले रूम में बैठ के हम इनोवेशन आ जाएगी हम लोग अपने ड्राइवर्स के जितने व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स हैं हम मिस्ट्री शॉपर्स हैं हमारे पास जो ड्राइवर्स के व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स के अंदर घुसे हैं हमें ये भी पता चलता है कि वो जिस तरह फेक राइड्स कर रहे हैं वी ऑल्सो फाइन दैट आ ओर थ्रू द ड्राइवर्स नॉट डेट नॉट नोइंग दैम राइट And so everything that we learn is through focus groups from drivers, through their WhatsApp groups, being part of their WhatsApp groups, and that's what literally drives the innovation. Very well said. Um, anything you guys would share on? Because now I think we're thinking about sort of innovation within companies, and what I think we, I would like to talk about after is also innovation within sort of the other spaces. So within companies, is there anything else that you think uh, you know some of the traditional businesses should think about? When it comes to innovation, when it comes to sort of thinking outside of the norm of doing business the way it's been done, are there areas that you think they are potentially ignoring in the traditional industries that that many of our successful businesses here in the Maven community are from? I think uh, one thing to be careful about is that up innovation a word ko wo yena samjhein ke koi koi mythical koi creation aap bana rahe hain kahin se and it's like you know the first time anyone is hearing about it to sirf tabhi aapki innovation hogi the example i can give our thesis of the fund which is actually a dedicated fund for pakistan is not that we expect pakistan to become silicon valley of all of a sudden that new innovative breakthroughs for the world are only coming out of pakistan um, I think it's really about, as Isak put it, and uh, like you know, we we're finding out from some of the other businesses as well. Localizing effectively is innovating in the local market, and if that leads to call it disruption of a particular industry or solution to a problem which was not possible, then you have innovated around it and you are now capitalizing on the market opportunity. So that is something that we are also very careful. We want founders to tell you that don't get enamored by the word because it by itself means something. I think that distinction needs to be made. If you look at the fundamental industries of Pakistan, here is the digitization of Shuruya. Like most industries are not digitized, um, a B2B side, which are traditionally slightly more boring businesses, job of flashy advertising, that needs to happen across pretty much every single segment of the country. And we are we're just in the first inning here. So, if you look at Pakistan, I think the telecom and banking sector are the ones which are more digitized. And in banking, you can see how many percentage hai that covers the major population of Pakistan and that's why you are seeing disruption in the finance and banking industry. So lots of young people are still experimenting. No one solution has come out that has taken over the market or disrupted the market. But there are attempts to capture especially the younger population who is fed up of the way banks operate. So I think that's where the opportunities are because young people want it customized, they want it the way that they want it delivered. They don't want the traditional way of doing things. And a lot of people said when Kareem, Uber, Bikea, when they started, taxi. nobody will sit with a stranger in a car or on a bike. I mean, the biggest growth market for Kareem is Pakistan. So I think 
نا کہ پاکستان ہے اس لیے یہاں انویشن نہیں ہو سکتا یہاں نئی ٹیکنالوجی نہیں امپلیمنٹ ہو سکتی کہ نئی آئیڈیاز نہیں ہو سکتے دیٹ آئی تھنک امت از ویل سو آئی تھنک وی نیڈ ٹو سی ہاؤ تھنگس آر چینجنگ ہیئر دی ایکسپیکٹیشنز آر چینجنگ لوگوں کی جو ایکسپوجر ہے وہ بھی بڑھ رہی ہے مے بی بیکاز آف دی انٹرنیٹ مے بی بیکاز آف پیپل دے کم ان ٹو کانٹیکٹ ود تو ایکسپیکٹیشنز آر ویری ہائی کسٹمر سیٹسفیکشن از سم تھنگ دیٹ آل بزنس از نیڈ ٹو لک ایٹ تو یہ میں نے دیکھا ہے کہ اٹس ویدر اسمال اور بگ ویدر اسٹارٹ اپ اور اینڈ یو نو اے ٹریڈیشنل بزنس دا کسٹمر از آلویز رائٹ اینڈ سو یو نیڈ ٹو فوکس آن دا کسٹمر اینڈ ان اے ویٹ اور چینج ان اکارڈنگ ان اکارڈنس ود دیٹ I just wanted to uh, re- make it a little bit relatable in the sense that if we just look at our average day yeah. and the decisions we're making, um, each one is a micro decision. I, I'll start with myself. When I landed at Karachi airport last night, it wasn't even an option that I would call a person and call a car first, and call it there, 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 and ultimately probably cost-wise is also more. This was not happening five years ago. I would want to make sure that there's an arrangement. Now, what is it that you are taking Uber, you come back, you go to, uh, come to your place, and I'm not going to start cooking, so I go to your, uh, you know, I go to Food Panda, uh, make, a, make an order. So, the next day you start, you want to go to a place, or you want to get something, you open up by Kia, and you're placing an order, again, you have to eat another meal. So everyday decisions, which are micro decisions, just make no impact that we have to pay for $6 billion or $10 billion. How were we in India in the past few days? How were we in this week? How were we in the past few days? How were we in our FATF? This is a micro decision, which is dissociated from the macro from the macro. پر آپ ایک پاکستان کی اکانمی کے سائز کی جب آپ یہ مائکرو ڈسیزن ایگریگیٹ کرنا شروع کریں دیٹس وین یو اسٹارٹ ٹو گیٹ دا کائنڈ آف ٹریکشن وچ از لیڈ ٹو اوبر اینڈ کریم اسپینڈنگ مور دین فور ہنڈریڈ ملین ڈالرز ان پاکستان اینڈ نو اینڈ دوز آر دا کائنڈ آف بزنس دیٹ وی آر سینگ کم اپ آئی تھنک اٹس اے میٹر آف ٹائم اٹس رادر وین رادر دین ایف کہ دے آر گون کم اپ اینڈ وی گون دین اسٹارٹ ٹریٹنگ دم ایز ایوری ڈے ایکسپیرینسز while they are actually disrupting traditional businesses. Not only that, when you add, there, there are friends of mine who always thought of buying a second car for the family and having one car for themselves. Now nobody is doing that. Everybody is saying, okay, one car may be enough or maybe no car. Any time that you need a car, all you have to do is phone for it. Right? I think the interesting, also, also the interesting thing also becomes that when you have sort of a unicorn like Kareem, It inspires a lot of yes. a lot of innovation, right? I mean, it gives you this hope and dream of getting to this sort of, you know, pedestal that, that they have created. But also, I think when you look at the market that they picked in Pakistan, how they, how they actually even solve the problems that, that, you know, like you said, like, no one would have thought that, uh, you know, a female would ask, would sit with a stranger. It is, it would be shocking if, you, if we even talked about it today with, without, if Kareem didn't exist. You would say, no, there's no way. But they solved a very interesting sort of, uh, sort of problem. So the, my question would be then is that, which industries are where our youth focus can be, that they can actually start, you know, at least, uh, if obviously there's hundreds of problems. And of, of course, is you know, at least if you were to sort of say, okay, within this 360 degree, try to focus on this sort of, uh, you know, 90 degree, 45 degrees on, 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 on not only problems, but things that we have sort of, that you guys have seen in your experience that have started coming up, that people have started talking about, that you have seen evident problems that we're not able to solve. You obviously mentioned banking and, and uh, you know, we haven't been able to fully solve some of the problems of financial inclusion, but what are some industries that you guys all sort of see where the youth can sort of write down notes and say, okay, I'll go to research and I'll look into this. So healthcare is another one because healthcare is not accessible to a large number of people in this country. And you see a lot of startups who are providing the kind of service. What about old people, the elderly, the kind of care that they need? We haven't even thought of it. And the reason we haven't thought of it is that When we grew up, we would stay with our parents and take care of them. Now, a lot of young people are moving out of Pakistan due to career reasons or whatever, and old people are left to take care of themselves. 
that's again a great opportunity to provide service for them to make sure their daily needs are taken care of, things that they need, whether it's to pay a utility bill. Well, Baikia has solved that. Now when my team forgets anything at home, they don't need to worry. They say, oh, we'll call Baikia and we'll get them to pick it up and bring it. So it may seem like a small problem, but when a lot of people face that small problem, then it becomes a business. So healthcare, education, uh, even in the retail sector, there are a lot of opportunities that are still open. Just look around, you'll see the problems. And Pakistan is blessed to have so many problems that you can turn them into opportunities very quickly. एक तो इंडस्ट्रीज हैं जिस तरह आपने बात की या तो एक तो रिटेल इंडस्ट्री है इस पर काफ़ी काम हो रहा है एटलीस्ट अगर हमने उसको फुली सॉल्व नहीं किया बट डायरेक्शन सही है दराज है फूड पैंडा है ऑटोमोटिव में काम हो रहा है हेल्थ केयर में भी काम शुरू हो गया बट आई थिंक फाइनेंशियल इंडस्ट्री फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज जिसके अंदर माइक्रो इंश्योरेंस हो गई माइक्रो हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस है लोन्स हैं पी डे लोन्स हैं उस पर बिल्कुल काम नहीं हुआ अच्छा उस पर काम करने के लिए हमें क्या जरूरत है डेटा की For the first time in the history of Pakistan, the 90% of the unbanked people have their data registered in some com- uh, uh, company or the other. Like for example, Baikia has 5 million people data. Right? जो कि आज तक banking में नहीं है. हमें पता है वो रहते हैं कहाँ, हमें पता है वो कहाँ जाते हैं, हमें पता है वो किस तरह घूमते हैं. So we can use the data to provide loans to them. We can use the data to provide health insurance, life insurance. I think that is one industry that I feel hasn't even started, and there's a lot of room uh, for improvement uh, and finding solutions. and also because of our insurance or banking sector mein waisi thode se uh, uh, conventional mindset hai to usko disrupt karna bhi kafi aasan hoga aur dusra industry ke ilawa main ye samajhta hu ki audience uh, jitni bhi humne startup mein audience for example my father is sitting here and he has uh, only use whatsapp and facebook he is not a user of food panda or daraz uh, he doesn't even use bikeia but now he does because he's got the bikeia हेल्पलाइन ही कैन कॉल टू सो हमें ऑडियंस को भी जो सिर्फ दस परसेंट लोग हैं ऑडियंस जो स्टार्टअप को इस्तेमाल करते हैं बाकी ऑडियंस को कैसे लेके हम स्टार्टअप में सिर्फ इंडस्ट्री नहीं वर्टिकल डाइवर्सिफिकेशन एंड ऑल्सो फॉरिजोंटल डाइवर्सिफिकेशन तो जिस तरह हमारे बाइकिया में दो डाइवर्सिफाई किया है कि फोन करके आप बाइकिया मंगवा सकते हैं हम ट्राइंगल लोकेशन जो है जैस की उससे हम उसका अप्रॉक्सीमेट लोकेशन पकड़ते हैं और ड्राइवर को भेज सकते हैं और दूसरा यू कैन ऑल्सो हेल अ राइड नाउ ऑन ऑन द रोड एंड यूज अ बाइकिया मीटर टू गो समे एक और एग्जाम्पल मैं शेयर करना चाहता विच पॉइंट हैज सम रेलिवेंस जमीन डॉट कॉम का आई थिंक एक ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस जो कंस्ट्रक्शन और प्रॉपर्टी से रिलेटेड है और माशाला पाकिस्तान में हर कोई पोलिटिकल एनलिस्ट भी है और प्रॉपर्टी डीलर कह लें डिवेलपर कह लें वो भी है उन्होंने इट टुक दम गुड टेन इलेवन ईयर्स टू फिगर आउट अ मॉडल दैट वर्क फॉर द ऑडियंस इन पाकिस्तान अभी भी आप जाके बड़े डेवलपर से बात करते हैं तो वो सब कभी कभार यही कहते हैं कि जी उन्होंने क्या खास चीज की है वॉट सो स्पेशल अबाउट डिवेलपर अबाउट जमीन द स्पेशल थिंग इज कि उन्होंने उसी वैल्यूज चेन के अंदर उन्होंने डेटा को लेवरेज करके एक पोजिशन बनाई कि दे वर एबल टू क्रिएट वैल्यू और उस वैल्यू के मुताबिक अब विदाउट ओनिंग रियल इस्टेट वाहिद रियल इस्टेट कंपनी ऑफ पाकिस्तान दैट इज वर्थ फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ इनोवेशन दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ फिगरिंग आउट दैट बिजनेस मॉडल मार्केट फिट एंड नाउ फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान दे आर एक्सपैंडेड टू मेनी अदर कंट्रीज एंड इट्स नॉट अगेन एनी डिफरेंट दैट दे डूइंग इट्स जस्ट अगेन द सेम इंडस्ट्रीज मारते उसी तरह बन रही है और उसी तरह लोग खरीद रहे हैं सो आई थिंक दैट्स रेली ऑल्सो वॉट इज रेलिवेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट साक मैंशन कि आपकी एवरी डे सोल्यूशन एवरी डे लाइफ के अंदर काफी इस तरह की चीजें हैं जहां पर आप थोड़ी थोड़ी इंप्रूवमेंट्स आ सकते हैं और वो जब थोड़ी थोड़ी इंप्रूवमेंट दो सौ बीस मिलियन पाकिस्तान की आवाम करेगी तो दैट विल बिकम अ बिग इंप्रूवमेंट एंड दैट कैन क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर लॉर पीपल डेस्टिन सेक्टर जो है जो मेरे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है आई थिंक जो ग्लोबल इनोवेशन हो रही है सब जो पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर्स हैं वो डिस्ट्रप्ट हो रहे हैं कंटिन्यूसली एंड पाकिस्तान के केस में जो मार्केट है वो बहुत अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड है यहाँ पर कोई ब्रांडेड तंदूर भी लॉन्च कर सकते हैं जिसकी बीस स्टोर हो सकते हैं वो भी एक डिस्ट्रप्शन हो सकती है आप फार्मेसी में चले जाओ आप रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में चले जाओ आप डेयरी में चले जाओ आप टेक्नोलॉजी तो टेक्नोलॉजी आई थिंक इज वेरी एडवांस फॉर अवर कंट्री आप कुछ भी किसी को भी चीज को भी एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं नेटवर्क पे डेवलेंस द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर यू गुड एट डोंट डू थिंग्स 
फॉर फेम के लिए हम लोग कर रहे हैं और ये बड़ी जबरदस्त सेक्टर है और इस पर हम लोग ये कर लेंगे आप किस चीज में अच्छे हो सो बिफोर आई स्टार्टेड माई फर्स्ट कंपनी आई हेड ऑलरेडी स्पेंड टू ईयर्स रनिंग ए रेस्टोरेंट सो द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वेंट टू सेल माई प्रपोजल टू अ रेस्टोरेंट एग्जैक्टली न्यू वॉट दे वॉन्टेड आई क्लोज द डील ऑन माई फर्स्ट डे सो इफ यू लव समथिंग इफ यू लव पिकिंग अप क्रैश फ्रॉम रोड्स ऑफ कराची विल बी द नेक्स्ट बिलियन है of karachi right so just pursue what you love and you know just follow that industry and you know you'll get somewhere i think it's very important as well one thing that we sort of didn't touch on is we talked about innovation we talked about ideas but they are all somewhat useless without having a proper road map for execution and uh, and so when you look at you know whether you guys when you look at companies that come to you and pitch i have this brilliant billion dollar idea and and then you question on execution and they're like I mean, so what do you do? So what are how what advice do you have? You know, you you guys sort of from the capital providers, but you guys also having you know successfully, mashallah, executed on an idea that you, there was a blank slate and you came up with some ridiculous thing that no one believed in, and you said, okay, we're going to execute. What is the advice you have for the youth on how to how to have a right process for execution? Because I think what I have at least discovered is there is somewhat of a recipe. You know, it's not an entire recipe, but there are some steps that you can follow that that make it a bit more easier. So I think if I can start, and then I think Rafi can add. So when a person, when a young person comes to us and pitches an idea, the first thing you need to find out how much do they know about that particular domain. So if you are food business, you are starting. तो खाने के बारे में आपको कुछ मालूम है अगर या आप ऑनलाइन फ्रूट वेजिटेबल्स बेच रहे हैं डू यू नो यू नो अबाउट दैट बिजनेस सबसे पहली चीज ये सेकेंड थिंग इज आपकी टीम में ऐसे लोग हैं जिनके पास मल्टीपल स्किल्स हैं इफ यू आर अ टेक्नोलॉजी पर्सन यू मस्ट हैव अ बिजनेस पर्सन यू मस्ट हैव अ पर्सन हु कैन फोकस ऑन कस्टमर और यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड यू नीड टू नो The first thing you need to do is validation of that idea. Have you spoken to a hundred people out there, not your family, not your friends, and asked? If I make this business, will you use it? Will you use it or not? If you use it, will you give it to me or not? So these are very basic things that you need to find out. and then you look at execution and then you look at whether you have the money whether you can sort of con your parents and family into giving you some money so you can get started and then maybe go to somebody like rabil to then scale it <laughs> i think uh, jahan is very polite in kind of like how she is characterizing ideas main ek thode different tarike se isko approach karunga main buyer ek stall lagata wahan pe main logon ko paise deta hu 100 rupees aur sath ek idea deta hu उनमें से जो भी उनमें से एग्जीक्यूट कर लें वो वापस आके हमसे इन्वेस्टमेंट भी रेज कर लें दैट्स द ट्रू एसेंस ऑफ द वर्थ ऑफ एन आइडिया अलोन आप अगर उठ के बिजनेस से निकल के उसके ऊपर कुछ कर रहे हैं एंड यू कैन डेमोन्स्ट्रेट सम ट्रैक्शन इफ यू कैन डेमोन्स्ट्रेट दैट यू हैव सम प्रायर नॉलेज ऑफ दैट स्पेस इफ यू हैव लर्न दैट देर इज अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम एन प्रीवियस सोल्यूशन दैट यू हैड विच रिमेन अन एड्रेस्ड all of these are things which point to traction which point to you going out and building the right team um which if it and that right team is looking to solve a problem in a large space it's interesting for us an idea by itself is just nothing kafi sare startups aate hain hamare paas ideas leke but unko for example agar aap ek neeman seth ke paas jaye ek idea leke वो पूछेंगे आपका तीन से पांच साल में क्या विजन है आप उनको ये कहेंगे मैं बेच दूंगा तीन से पांच साल में या जिसको बेचोगे उसको भी तो प्रॉफिट कमा रहे हैं ना यू शुड टेल देम हाउ विल इट इवेंचुअली मेक प्रॉफिट दे विल डिस्कस योर आइडिया इन अ सेकेंड यू से मैं तीन साल में एग्जिट स्ट्रैटेजी दैट्स हाउ आई एम गो मेक मनी यू डोट हैव अ विजन यू डोट नो वट यू गोइंग टू डू यू डोट नो वट योर पार्थ टू प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इज कि हम लॉस बनाएंगे कोई ना कोई हमें आगे खरीद लेगा तो uh, आप इन्वेस्टर जब तो वी बिकम द लाफिंग द स्टार्टअप है बिकम टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाफिंग स्टॉक Uh, it feels to the big real investors ki yaar ye to bachcho ka playground hai aur aate hain kyunki us waqt se seekh rahe hote hain to there's no real uh, mind there there's no real professionals there they don't know what they doing for example ek startup aaya tha jisne kaha ki hum jo hai wo uh, hotel ki reserve restaurants ki reservation karenge theek hai london tokyo new york mein is tarah ki chalenge to pakistan mein flow aur sakura ke andar aap karenge flow aur sakura mein kitne log jate hain uske baad aap kis tarah scale karenge तो दे डोट नो वट दॉक अबाउट दे डोट नो वट द रियल प्रॉब्लम्स आर लाइक वट जहान आर एस है एड यू शुड गो इन द मार्केट 
talk to the normal people and ask them what their daily life problems are to solve it. Yeah, uh, I think in 2015, when we had run 8-8 years ago, at that time, the ecosystem investment was not developed. At one point, we had three standing offers, one from NASPERS, one from Rocket Internet, and the third one was for an investor's group who was based out of Europe. And they wanted to buy. And I thought that we had to grow from it for a year ago, so that we could grow from it. अब मैं जब लोग लोगों से मिलता हूँ जो स्टार्टअप अपना फॉर्म कर रहे हैं तो यार एक्सिट करने हैं हमने आईपीओ करने हैं हमने पैसे रेस करने हैं हम लोग हमें उस वक्त ये भी नहीं पता था कि पैसे किस तरह रेस करते हैं आई एम नॉट जोकिंग मुझे कुछ आइडिया भी नहीं था कि पैसे रेस क्या करते हैं कंपनी की शेयर होल्डिंग क्या होती है बिकती किस तरह है कंपनी उस वक्त जो टोटल आइडिया था वो ये था कि यार एक कस्टमर है जिसने हमसे चीज खरीदनी है एक रेस्टोरेंट है जो हमारा बॉस है जो हमें पैसे देगा और ये स्टेक होल्डर्स है इनका हमने ख्याल रखना है अब क्या क्या चीजें हम लोग कर सकते हैं कि हम लोग इनको बेहतर से बेहतर सर्व करें। This was the only focus we had, and that and along the way we made so many mistakes. We made tremendous amount of mistakes, but we wanted to get somewhere, like more customers, more restaurants, and that is what we followed every day. And that is the only reason I think we got somewhere. If our if our focus was how to raise money, how to do IPO, how to do million dollar raise. We wouldn't be anywhere. Yeah. No, I think uh, unfortunately we're a bit short on time. So uh, if if someone hadn't come and told me to to cut it short, I think I would continue talking for the next two hours. Because I really I think these are very very interesting topics, and I think there's a lot to be learned from on on the two things that we really talked about. Unfortunately, we didn't get to talk about sort of how to think through through capital. But the two things where we talked about innovation as well as execution and what are the things to look out for execution and what are the things to look out for when you are trying to solve a problem. I think the you know John you said it best that we are blessed in Pakistan to have so many problems. And we are blessed that we are in a country where we can actually do so much. Um, because there everywhere you look there is areas where you can give back. You can not only help the consumer, you can help build a build an entire country. And I think we're very, very blessed with that, and uh, so please, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, thank the uh, thank the panels for me. I think we couldn't have asked for a better uh, 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 set of panels. So thank you very much for being here with me, and uh, we hope you uh, you enjoyed the discussion. Thank you very much.